Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Noodle Film Review. Tonight we're looking at a 80s classic slasher. Um, well, to me it's a classic, um, but it's probably quite a an unknown sort of slasher film. And it's called The Prey. Uh, now this came out in the sort of early 80s um, and it's your typical um, sort of slasher film, but with a difference I suppose. Um, this one is um, based in, in like sort of like um, the wild, you know, like a, the forest sort of wild sort of thing. Not a camp, but same sort of um, area, but more sort of like forestry sort of tree areas. The film sort of starts off where we see like an elderly couple that are, well, middle-aged couple, and they are sort of camping out in the forest. And they're being sort of watched by something in the bushes, which um typical sort of a premise of, of an 80s sort of slasher. And they're sort of like cooking by a fire and eating dinner. <laughs> that sort of goes on for quite a while. And, and we see some sort of shots of some sort of like nighttime sort of wildlife and things like this. And we see this uh, sort of first person view through bushes of being watched. And then the, the the woman goes off to wash the pans and plates for the dinner and the old boy takes his pipe and he goes and sharpens his axe to cut some wood and stuff like that. And then this, uh, whatever it is that's pursuing him, um, takes him out. First of all, he takes the bloke out with the axe. You don't see it. They're off screen sort of kills. And the woman comes back and finds a, a sort of... Um, uh, husband is there with a headless husband his head's been cut off and she starts screaming and then you see the axe raise and she gets sort of killed with an axe and then we sort of cut to lots of scenes of like um again wild animals and stuff like this is quite a bit of that in this film where we see things like um frogs and toads uh insects like jumping spiders and and um we see a, a adder, a puff adder, snake in in the grass, and you see owls and and raccoons and all this sort of stuff goes on, and then we sort of cut to like a van that's sort of coming along, and this is our van with with our heroes in it, our group of teens that are also going on a, a sort of hiking trip, and and sort of treat us to their amazing acting skills. Um, so th they're on their way to this trip and they stop off to unload all their equipment because obviously they can't take their van through the forest. And the park ranger sort of turns up and the girls all seem to take a shine to him. Oh, he's such a hunk. And then they all just stand there smiling at each other and it's so, <laughs> just so cheesy. Oh, wow. They all just sit there sort of smiling at each other. And he tells them to go and have a good time and all this sort of thing. And they go into North Peak. Which he was sort of like, and he goes, hmm. And anyway, they all set off on their hiking trip. And again, we're sort of treated by scenes of um different animals in the woods and sort of uh, rivers. And, and, and the guys sort of uh, making their way through the wood and... There's little bits of jibber jabber going on, sort of like really badly, but really coolly scripted film. Um, it was some sort of like really poor acting, which is great. Um, and then it comes sort of like to the night time and they build their campfire. And again, they're being watched. We see this sort of um, first person sort of view with a sort of like a heartbeat sort of thing coming from the woods and they start telling each other stories as they do and then they break off to their little groups um because there's, there's three girls three guys with boyfriends and girlfriends and um <laughs> one of the girl two of the guys go for a wee and the girl goes for a wee in the bushes anyway when she finishes she comes out and he and he sort of jumps out and goes Rrr! and she faints on the floor she has a big jump scare. Anyway, so when they when they settle down for the night, she tells him, I am not putting out. <laughs> so fantastic. Um and then the sort of girl that's with the, the sort of nerdy guy, she she's she's probably the good looking girl of the group, but she she's with him because apparently his family are rich. 
Um, they're like millionaires or something. So she's only with him for that sort of reason. Anyway, they, they, they all break up to little little groups in their little sleeping bags. Not one of them got a tent between them, by the looks of it. Um, anyway, so... Uh, and while the uh, the sort of girl's making out with the nerdy guy, she hears, hears and sees something coming from the bushes, as always. But then um, she, she he doesn't believe her, etc., etc. And then he goes to investigate, as as he does, and he goes off. And while he goes off, um, she gets killed. Um, she gets suffocated with a a, sl a sleeping bag. <laughs> Anyway, and then he's he's uh, he's taken the lamp with him, and then he he sort of the lamp the light goes out of course, and then he gets killed. He gets his his throat slit and all blood and guts pouring out, um, and so he gets killed. So the next day, or the other four wake up and they don't know where they've gone because all their stuff's gone missing and they're no longer there. So some of them think, oh, they've headed back and you. Know, one of the girls doesn't believe and think there's something happened. They all go out looking for them um, in different places. One of the girls finds sort of like blood on the tree. Uh, they find the old man's pipe from before uh, and stuff like this sort of thing on. And then the park rangers are getting reports from the police about a missing couple. That's the first couple that are in the film. Um, so the, uh, the, 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 the hunky... <laughs> Park Ranger decides to make a trip out to the North Point to find, try and see if he can find these two and look for the the others. So what's killing them? Um, is it um, a Bigfoot? Or is it just a, a mutated person? Or is it somebody we already know? You guys need to watch it to find out um, what it is. That's killing them. What do I think of the prey? It's it's amazing, absolutely amazing. It's right up my street. It's very very um, along the sort of pieces sort of line when it comes to the acting and the sort of film story and the way it's sort of filmed and the way it is. It's very much like that. Very very cheesy. And the acting is so bad. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. And there's sort of like some sort of backstory going on behind there. One of the um, forest rangers tells the other forest ranger about a bad forest fire that happened years ago. And there was some gypsies living in some caves in the mountains and they all got burnt apart from one child um, that, he, did, that he, he believes he saw really badly burnt up there. So, Cropsy. <laughs> so, he... Um, he tells them this story. But yeah, it, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, the pluses of the film, the transfer looks really, really 80s and looks really cool. Still got lots of grain and, and, and blemishes in the film, which I love. It's and, and Arrow have done a really good job of making it look as best they possibly can. Uh, the characters are absolutely glorious and wonderful. They're all... They're all rememberable, you know, and they all play this sort of part. It's like when when this sort of they're being stalked, we cut to the forest ranger in his hut and he's playing like the banjo. <laughs> and it's it's just so wonderfully wacky and wild and brilliant at the same time. And all these sort of nature shots and animal shots and stuff. Because it's trying I think it's trying to embrace that the prey are the humans are the prey because of the sort of detriment stuff that they can do to the wild, um, like litter, set fires and stuff like this. So it's almost like the wild is coming down on them um, to sort of like stop them from doing it. That's what I got out of the film, which was quite a nice sort of different touch to the story, giving it like a bit of a, like the film Prophecy, giving that sort of um, environmental sort of um, storyline to it. But with this sort of um, crazed killer in this sort of amazing sort of slasher film. Absolutely fantastic. Really cool. The negatives. I wish the kills were more gory and more on screen. I would have liked to have seen more of that. And maybe some more people sort of like in the forest and getting killed and stuff like that. But you can't have everything. 
So I'm going to score The Prey an amazing watch because it's my type of film and I'm going to score it a 9 out of 10. It would have got a 10 out of 10 if it had that sort of gore and more kills in it and on-screen kills. But yeah, perfect film for me. It's it's my type of horror film, my type of slasher film. So and if, if you like those sort of films like Pieces and um, all these sort of really cheesy ones like Girls Night Out, um, Hell High and all these kind of really cheesy sort of um, slasher films... Um, just Before Dawn, which is another classic. It's very similar to Just Before Dawn. Um, you'll love this. Absolutely brilliant. So there we go. The Prey, 9 out of 10. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you thought of it. I picked this up from last week because Arrow got a sale on at the moment. So I picked a couple of movies up. I picked up The Prey and I picked up uh, Beyond the Door, which is what I will also be looking at later on in the week. Um, but I picked these up because they were like eight quid each, and it's the best eight pound I've spent this month. <laughs> you know, yeah, I love the Enter the Video Store um, box set, but I love this more. It's my sort of horror. It's really cool, really cool film, guys. Till my next um, video, check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, Irish Designs, Pizzawell. I'm the Ice Lord. Um, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Sarah of Horror, uh, Grumpy um, Andrew's Haunted House, and a massive shout out to my son Lemon Lord. Hope you're doing well, mate, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in a week's time. Till next time, guys, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.